Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I set up my cable steering system for my stern mounted trolling motor setup. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts used in this project. This is my control arm here and on either end I have these stainless steel S carabiners which are used to connect the steering control lines and then I have a piece of T-Track here that I will cut to size to fit across the mount of the trolling motor. And then I have a 1 quarter by 20 eye bolt here, a 1 quarter by 20 bolt washer, and this T-Track 1 quarter by 20 nut, which I'll use to attach this whole setup here to the center of the T-Track. This is the cable steering setup for the trolling motor. As you can see here and here, that's where my lines are coming out from the foot pedals. And then they're going to go up here at an angle, and I'll show you a better close-up of this, through this eye bolt, which is then going to go over to one side of the steering control arm, which is here. And again, you have the other side going through on this side of the eye bolt to the other side of the steering control arm. And the reason I've been doing this using this eye bolt which is attached to the center point of this trolling motor mount is because it increases your turn radius and I get almost 90 degrees turned in either side using this setup. And this is just a piece of T-Track that I cut off and then mounted to either side of the mount here and then this is just a 1 quarter 20 eye bolt which I used to run everything through and I'll just show you a little bit better view of the eye bolt right in here and you can see how it goes through there at an angle you don't have to do that but it definitely increases your turn radius Now there's another part of the design that I had to make specially for this setup. Because I'm running the wiring down the center of the mount, I needed to make sure that when you turn almost 90 degrees in either direction, that the lines here would not run into and rub against that split hose cover. So what I did was I made a loop big enough in this to make up enough room so it could turn 90 degrees in either direction but I put a little two hole strap right down here for one half inch EMT tubing to lock this in place so there's always going to be enough room for it to turn side to side but it'll stay in the center so these steering lines do not interfere and rub on it What I'm going to do now is just give a little demonstration of how this steering system works. You can see I have my control bar hooked up along with my steering control lines and you can see down there the prop unit for the trolling motor. So what I'm going to do is using the foot pedals that are hooked up to this system, I'm going to turn it either side just so you can see the relationship between the control arm and the prop head turning. Now what's important to note in this is that you can use almost any kind of steering control arm that you have and I can also put the links for two options I have done before in the narrative section and I'll also list the parts you're going to need if you want to make this center section here so you can increase your turning radius. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.